Hey everybody, today I have a uh, rather short but sweet episode. i um, been working on this for quite a while. Uh, <laughs> this is like my seventh take of it, but as you can see this is a giant automated um, wheat farm. You know, I just couldn't get enough beer for myself, so I decided, hey, let's just grow some hops. Um, I'm only going to run the thing once to show you the collection, and then I'm going to give you... I'm going to show you how it works, and I'm going to give you some dry tests, but the thing just takes so long to... Um, grow and harvest that just frankly it's impractical for me to run it more than once but I don't think I will need to. So before I run it you can see that each little square is its own island functioning off pistons. Um, basically what's going to happen is each is going to flood and they're going to all flow to a collection point in the middle and they're all going to meet downstairs. Um, you clear my inventory you can so you can see how much stuff I pick up at once but it's an incredibly fast, efficient farm, and it all reaches one point, and it's pretty cool. So let's see this thing in action. Um, but yeah, so a little forward. It's actually really easy on the wiring. Um, it's one of my most simple wiring projects, to be honest. Uh, it's all just hooked up to a lever, and the pistons. Uh, I flip a switch, and I'm sure my game's gonna lag like a bitch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there we go. And we start to get f flooded with items. All right, uh, we should have a lot start collecting below. I'm gonna let them all collect, and then I'm gonna start filming again because it's lagging me quite a bit. All right, let's go collect these items. And yeah, as you can see, there's just a kajillion items down here. It's pretty great. Um, if I was able to run my computer a bit better, it'd be much smoother. So I'm sorry for that. But um, all right, let me show you. Let me dump this inventory. I'll start filming again and show you how all this whole thing. Works. Alright, well, um, now that I've finally uh, cleared all those items out, I can run my game again. Um, that was a bit of a hassle. Didn't realize that the level of lag I'd have, but um, I'm going to show you one of these pads, and then I'm going to show you down below, and um, plan to make a tutorial on this in the next couple of days. So I have it set up so that there's a central pad with uh, four adjoining pads. Um, each pad's connected with a set of pistons right here, and a source block here and here. Um, on every single corner is um, one of these pistons. When I hit the lever, basically, um, each corner is equally flooded and they reach the middle. I'm going to flood it and then I'll come back upstairs to show you what that looks like, just so you can get an idea of how that works. If I could climb a ladder, All right, let's hit the switch and go back. Right, so flip the switch going back up. Um, as you can see, each pad is completely flooded with the central square in the middle being open. Um, in here, all the items uh, flow uh, basically down to the bottom of the collection point they'll show you in a second. Um, the reason I have these water things behind here is because um, what it allows to do what it allows to do is it keeps the uh, the soil blocks hydrated so they don't turn over allowing you to replant the things without ever using a hoe again. Um, if it's if there's a water source block within four blocks of a piece of tilled dirt it will not uh, become untilled. Alright so let me turn this thing off just to make this easier. Right, so you saw the central collection points right here for its own self, and I pick everything up down at the bottom there. Um, in each corner, there's a piston here, a piston here, powered by a torch that a redstone current goes to to either turn into the on or off state. Um, this simply extends it. And then all the items drop through a hole right here into the water stream. This stream goes down a tunnel, which pulls to the left, and then meets here. Um, on every single side we have the exact same mechanism allowing them all to collect in the center. So technically with the right finicking you could link infinite amounts of these. Um, as far as I can tell this is about as space efficient as it gets for farm for uh, farming like this because you get to use every single till block and they all get to be collected with one push of a button. Um, because of the slabs you can actually plant and replant everything with bone meal and everything up here without ever having to get off. And um, yeah, it's just really uh, it's a cool idea. It took me quite a while to build, but um very proud of it. Uh, expect a tutorial in the next, I don't know, two days, I'd say. Um, but for the meantime, I hope you all enjoy. Uh, as usual, have a good night. Thank you.